Hi students, let's continue with the examples of the Miller machine. Now here in another example, construct a Miller machine that prints A. Okay, so that prints A whenever the sequence 0, 1 is encountered in any input binary string. So they are saying any input binary string means it should be in the 0 and 1. Okay, so whatever the input binary string. Okay, this is an input alphabet. So the input they are giving uh, the string like suppose whatever the string we are taken so the question is I need to construct a MLA machine that prints A okay I have to print A on the output whenever the sequence is 0 1 so whenever the sequence is 0 1 in place of 0 1 as uh, 0 1 is there it has to print A whenever the sequence 0 1 is encountered 0 1 is encountered it has to print A so that means the input alphabet is set of 0, 1. There is a binary string. And the output alphabet O is AB. Set of the string AB. Okay. So, now let me construct uh, how to uh, construct this melee machine. So, first construct the de deterministic finite automata for the given question. So, then it will be easy for you because uh, everything... Uh, you, you need to cons uh, uh, consider the concept of the deterministic finite automata. So, here they are saying I need to print A whenever the sequence is 0, 1 is encountered. So, whenever the 0, 1 is encountered means it has to print A it is saying. So, total uh, here the two characters are there means total three states are there according to our uh, concept. A deterministic finite automata if there are two characters, uh, two string two characters or two symbols are there then the total number of states are the three the length is two number of states is length plus one you'll get the number of state that is the three states so let this is a starting start let's say a is the initial state so on zero one take b okay so whenever the sequence zero one is encountered Let's take this as a final state C. Let us assume, but in Melamation there is no final state. Let us assume this is a final state. Why? Because I need to uh, construct a sequence. Whenever the 0, 1 is encountered, it has to print, uh, the output has to print A. So whenever it is B as 1, input 1, the output should be A. So whenever the 0, 1 is encountered, the output, it has to print A. And the remaining all are Bs. Remember that the remaining all or all means so in the deterministic finite automata each state has to uh, construct in zeros and the ones. So it is going out zero and the input one B. So the remaining for all the remaining things you just place. So one is going and the zero is B and the remaining all things you need to construct as so here 1 is coming and C is going to 0 on input 0, 1 it should be B. Okay, so already C is going on 1 it is B. Okay, so this is a determined uh, melee machine. So how can I uh, only the thing here whatever the string you are taken okay it generates whenever the sequence 0 1 is encountered it prints A. Okay suppose if I take a simple 0 1 0 0 1 the final output it generates is A. It Whenever the 0 1 is encountered it prints A. Okay so let, let me take 0 0 0 0 1 in case of 0 0 1 also if I take 0 a 0 1 in place of 1, A is encountered. So, let me take an example to check whether this uh, uh, melee machine, whatever I constructed is true or false. Okay. So, let us assume a string as 0, 1, 0. Uh, let me take, okay. 0, 1, 1, 0. Let me take 0, 1, 1, 0. So, whenever 0, 1 is there, a string A has to be encountered. Let's check. So, first... A on 0 generating an output B. Okay. Next. It's going to be B on 1. B on 1. It is going. Let me write here. 
a on 0 it is generating a new state b and output for the b is and output is b and a on 1 b on 1 b on 1 it is going to c and the output here is a now c on 1 c on 1 it is going to a and the output here is the b and a on 0 a on 0 it is going to the state b and output here is b so what is the string you got b a b b so whenever the string uh, 0 1 is encountered it prints a value did you observe here whenever the string 0 1 is encountered it prints a value let me take another example so to check this so this time i am taking 1 0 0 so in this string there is no 0 1 if there is no 0 1 means a should not be encountered okay let's check so a on 1 a on 1 it is going to the a itself and the output it is generating is b now a on 0 a on 0 it is going to the another state b and producing an output b now b on 0 b on 0 it is going to b itself and producing an output b now again b on 0 it producing a state b and output is b so what is the string that you got here all b's here a is not encountered why a is not encountered because 0 1 sequence is not there whenever the 0 1 sequence is there it prints a value but here the 0 1 sequence is not there so i got the output as all b's so this is how you need to construct a uh, mli machine which for the given condition so don't confused so first take the minimum diagram the minimum concept is uh, whatever the question they are giving you have to get the answer for that so i have taken i need to encounter 0 1 value whenever the 0 1 is there the output it generates should be the a a has to be generated for the remaining sequences i just keep the b value so whatever it may be i don't bother about thing but the concept here is whenever the 0 1 is encountered it has to print a and the remaining for all i had put b so why uh, you will get it out how can i draw these uh, only c has to go to a only c has to go to b and b has to come like this don't bother about according to the dfa concept okay it uh, the each string uh, will generate on input 0 as well as the input 1 okay each state not string each state will generate input 0 as well as 1 so here a is generating 0 and 1 and the b is generating 0 as well as 1 and the c is generating the 0 on uh, generating the output on 0 as well as the 1 so like that so it has all the three states has to uh, generate an output on 1 as well as the 0 so based on that condition you need to check and the final thing is uh, the sequence 0 1 should be encountered whenever a is occurred thank you